Not, I didn't grow from my town. Mm. I grew outside. Pencil, charcoal, paint. I do sewing art as well. So this is the, is it a canvas? Is it a painting? Yeah, it's a canvas. Um, unique. Mm -hmm. um, very unique. I take time with every piece that I have. Mm. Best artist in the West End. Moleni <laughs> Emakaya, my name is Zola Nukwali, aka Zoe underscore N. And today we are visiting a beautiful lady with an amazing talent. Dolly Art will be getting into her workspace, checking it out and asking her more questions about herself and her business. Hi! Hi, how are you? I'm good, are you? I'm good, can I Welcome. come? Welcome, thank you! <laughs> what are you doing today? Save me, save me for myself. I don't want any regrets. I need love and nothing. Welcome back to another beautiful video. Today we are sitting, or we're having a chat with Dolly Art. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, the background, guys, the background is beautiful, guys. If you see me, please leave your comments down below. If you see my pictures of cameraman, please. I'm not sure then. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, before we get straight into the video, let's get to know Tolly Art a bit more. How are you? I'm good. Oh, awesome. I'm so excited that I'm here, guys. I don't want to lie. So, before we get straight into deeper questions, I want you to tell our subscribers more about yourself so that they can get to know you more before we get into the deeper questions. I'm Dolly Art, mm -hmm. the best mm -hmm. artist in the West End. I'm a female artist from Hill 7. Um, what else do you want to know? Okay, like, we'll get to know more. I'll ask a lot of questions guys, so that you can get to know her more. So when you say, okay, you're an artist, when did you start drawing or when did you realize that you actually have a gift or this talent that you have when it comes to drawing well i've been an artist all my life mm -hmm. i've been an artist all my life but i only focused on it right after i graduated when i realized that i went for the wrong course oh uh, what did you like, study um i did something in aviation hi mom yeah i was Dad, supposed to be flying but <laughs> But then, like also, but then also you're doing something that you love, which is nice. So you yes, do aviation. Yes, I did. Wait. In EPT, in okay. Kempton Park. What exactly in aviation? Like flying, literally yes. flying. No, uh, flight attendant. Oh, yes. okay. Also, I, I can see you doing that. So yeah. when after you graduated, when was that? 2018. 2018. And then you started to take drawing yes, more seriously. Yes. When, did you just, when did you decide to make it a business? Which, okay, I'm going to... I didn't, I didn't really make it a business. People okay. started coming to me and saying, oh. can, you, can you draw me? How much is it? Mm. I wasn't into it for the money. Mm. I just wanted to do it. You know? But then people came to me and started saying, no, I want you to do this for me. And I couldn't do it for free because yeah. now equipment mm. and mm. Yeah, language. No, okay. <laughs> so, do you have discretion? Is advice? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, it's no problem. Yeah. So when you started drawing and then when you started charging people, and then we'll get to how much it is right now. I'm starting at 50 rand. Really? Yeah. And then right now, let's say A4, standard A4. It's drawing. 400. Okay, sure. <laughs> standard A4 is 400 rand. And when it comes to the drawing industry, or I don't know, what should I call it the artistry industry? Who would you say inspires you the most? Or who did you look up to? Or who are you still looking up to right now? I look up to myself. Oh, okay. Hey, guys. <laughs> There's no one that you look up to? No. No one that you, like, the drawing, maybe, whose draw, who's drawings or paintings interest you more? There's this guy from, I forgot his name. That's how, let's just look at his art. Okay. Yeah, there is this guy from Facebook. Yeah, he, I think he's Malawian or something. Mm -hmm. He's uh, like he ju it does um charcoal mm -hmm. um uh, on boards. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. they're very interesting. That's the only guy. The rest, I'm just like, 
to me. Okay, you, you were Ebola. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and then when it comes to um, when it comes to your drawings, how would you describe your style? Um, unique. Mm -hmm. Um, very unique. I take time with every piece that I have, mm -hmm. and if you don't like it, I start over. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one thing that could say I like. Okay, about. so you're a perfectionist. Yes. Okay, so like when I'm when I'm saying style, like what do you use? Let me say what do you mostly what do you use when you do it? I need to use pencil, there's pen. I use everything. Pen. I don't use pen. I don't I'm not, <laughs> I've tried, but you know, I God was like, No, my child, pen is not for you. Yeah. Yes, I use um pencil, charcoal, paint. I do sewing art as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, so we did see some sewing art, so we'll show you guys. Within the video, that if you're comfortable, obviously. Yes, I it's showing it. <laughs> okay, awesome. So living in the West Strand, what, what did you feel any restrictions? Because I mean, we live in a small town, and you live in another small suburb, yeah, that is very quiet, which is Yale Haven. Yes. Um, how would you say social media has played a role in growing your business? Um, well, I don't wanna lie. Mm. Um, I I grew. From, not I didn't grow from my town. Mm. I grew outside. Oh, then okay. later I was discovered mm -hmm. in my town. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. That's okay. But then what I'm saying is that, um, I mean, we live in a small area right mm -hmm. now. This is where you live, which is your favorite. So when it comes with social media, how did it impact everything? Did it help you grow? Did not. It didn't. No, that's what I'm saying. Really? I grew outside before I grew here. Are you serious? Yes. That's um, crazy. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I grew outside because, I like, only I... Okay, this is how I'm going to put it. Mm. People knew that I was an artist, mm -hmm. but then they're just like, ah, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, She's yeah. not important. Mm -hmm. Then people from outside, from outside started, started recognizing, recognizing you. me. And then but now, they recognized you through social media, yes. obviously. So it, I think also, in a sense, that it played an impact in you getting clients from outside your hometown. Yes. And then when they realize that, oh, I'm going to go to my Josie. Yeah. Okay, come on, come to Exactly. Exactly. Okay, that's awesome. So how long does it take for one paint, one drawing, one standard drawing? Um, It depends on the detailing. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have this hair. I'll oh, take a whole week. A whole week? Yes, because I have to draw every single line, every single mm. shade, you know. But if it's just a normal... Yeah, PT type of portrait. Uh, it's just uh, also uh, his face looks very simple to draw. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it no, is. Not in a bad way. It, well, it is very very. <laughs> <laughs> not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. So then, um, with that, with that being said, if it takes you like a weekend with your biggest portrait, how long does it take? You, to draw you know, <laughs> and uh, 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 uh. like someone, if I look at you mm. and you like, don't please draw. Like your picture has to call me, mm. and if mm. your picture doesn't call me, mm. I take longer. Mm. Yeah, well, I don't. I'm not connecting with that picture. Mm. I have to connect with it in order mm. for me to finish mm. it. Mm. You know, so mm. some portraits I I'm quick, like really quick, and mm. some I'm like, it needs yeah. to take time. Yeah, for you to draw it. Okay, guys, I don't know how to. Uh, please send the base picture. The the most. Beautiful picture that you have. Please send that if you want really to draw you a bit quicker. Right? Okay, awesome. I think right now we're just going to check out some stuff. We're going to speak more about your art. And the last question that I have while we're on the couch is, most of your drawings are portrait. Is that the only thing that you focus on? Or do you do landscape? Do I do, do, other kind of I do everything. And most of the things I paint or do are hang, are hung in the house. Or oh. Oh, like yes. landscape. Yes, I do. There's just a whole lot of. It looks like a really. Can we go see it? Yes, you may. Okay, that's, that's awesome. So, but most of the pictures that you or drawings that you focused on are portraits because obviously people ask you to. Yes. Do it. Okay. Yes. Awesome. I think right now we're gonna just get off the couch and look at your workspace. Ask you more questions about your workspace and the kinds of drawings that you have behind me. I'm there, guys, just by the corner. But right now, we're going to get up and ask you more questions about your portraits, which is your favorite, which was difficult to draw. And we're going to ask you more about your customers and how rude are they and how you deal with those. Okay, okay let's go. Now cut my finger, let me trace it by the features
from a distance to give me the look And people talk with the besties The sign of cold feelings So what I call them to give me the pss I come visit you, come visit back Okay guys, right now we're going to look at some of the portraits that Dolly Art has drawn and we are going to discuss some of them, ask her which is a favourite and ask her more questions about her workspace and we'll just go through it. You stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe guys to the channel and also like and also leave any comments that you have below. Any questions that you have for Dolly Art, please leave them down below. So let's go straight into the wall. So tell me, which is your favorite drawing here that you were like, you know what, I did an outstanding job? This one. This one. It's very, very beautiful. And then, let me ask you another question. Which one were you like, mm, I, this, was, this is not some of my best work, but I tried. <laughs> that one. Really? That one, yes. The lady with the hair. Yeah. That's beautiful. What do you mean? Okay, tell me, what's wrong with that one? Or what the cringy thing that you... I feel like... I didn't uh, portray what I wanted. Oh, yes. but it's very, very beautiful. So, what's the criteria of getting on this wall? Because I'm obviously on this wall. That's why I'm asking that question, Nika. What's the criteria of um, being on this wall? Um, there's no criteria. Oh. Um, once, <laughs> once I. <laughs> Once I, I, I draw you and you don't come get your picture or you don't ask for it, mm. then um, you stay on the wall. Oh, okay, yeah. maybe that's why my picture is on the wall because I didn't ask for it. But today I want to ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us more about your most challenging work. What's the most challenging portrait that you've done? Um, I don't know if it's here. It's it's this like, one because I normally, I was not used to... Um, darker portraits mm. so um i i went on youtube and i watched their video and then um i i tried this one it was very mm. challenging it came out beautiful because i still felt like it was light because the dark the guy was really really, really dark. dark but yeah. it's very beautiful yeah. that's one of my favorites actually and then you said you do a lot of okay not a lot but you do some line work as yes. well and then we have one here and i'd like to share this with our subscribers uh, this is it. So tell me more about line work. How does it work? What are you supposed to do? Because now I'm seeing paper. I've never seen it obviously in the process of it being done. Okay, so um, line work is you draw whatever you want to sew mm -hmm. and oh. then you just follow the, the pencil. Just oh, fill in what okay. you want to you want, you want on the on the, on the, on the, on the yes, on the canvas. On the canvas. So that's yeah. what I'm doing. So you see, there's no paper here because mm -hmm. I'm done. Mm -hmm. So as I move, I'll remove the paper, the paper. and I remove the paper with um water. Oh, I just make okay. the paper. Obviously, with okay, makes sense. Yes. So how long does it take you to do this? I mean, obviously, you have some work that you need to do and stuff like it's that. It's been it's been a year. It's been he's chilling here for a year. But a good year. Baby girl, it's like baby girl, finish me. I'm like no. I can't wait like... for you to actually finish it because I can see the process within the process that it's two zebras. Yes, it? it is. Okay, I love this. I love this. So can a customer come through or client rather come through and request something like this? Yes, it's more expensive, obviously. Yes, it is. Okay, yes, <laughs> sure. And then what kind of work do you do as well? Because I'm seeing something here and I don't know if you painted it. No, I did not paint that. Okay. I, I have kids coming up to paint these and play. Um, I also have this as well. You know, they're just playing with paint. So kids is in like, are you teaching people to draw? Are you teaching young children to draw? Yes. I wa At some point I was. Mm -hmm. But then now the parents expecting me to buy everything for the kids, okay. which didn't make sense. But that would be a good idea. I think you should resurrect that idea because it would be nice to just see you nurture more young artists, you know. But parents, understand that you need to pay for these things that you want. You understand? If you want something like this for your children, it's very important to yes, pay. Yes. Which is going to take me to my next question. With your customers, how do you deal with rude customers who give you difficulties with paying and so on? Um, the difficult ones are start with my portrait, I'll pay you afterwards, mm. and I don't do that anymore because mm. a lot of clients have plead with their portraits. Mm. So, I, I find people saying, No, you are a scammer, mm. uh, I don't trust you, no, you're gonna charm my money. Exactly, how are you gonna deliver it to me? To me do yeah. I have to pay for it? Sometimes they're like, I, They have to pay for mm. the delivery. Some mm. say, No, I'm not gonna pay for it because I paid you a lot already. already. Mm. So, yeah, there's a lot of challenges. How do you deal with those? 
um, I just I just try and ignore because like I need the money. <laughs> I, I want you to come back or actually refer me to someone else. Yeah. You know, so I I just try to reason with them. Mm. Like, you know, understand that I, I I need to pour petrol to deliver it. Mm. I can't or I need to career it. Okay. And sometimes so I do. Um, let's say you're getting a gift for someone and mm. you have to drop. I have to drop it to the door. To the door. So the surprise factor. Exactly. Okay, so more money is needed. In those yeah, instances. and they don't understand. I get understand. that. Okay, very important. And then also, I want to ask. I know that you are into. I don't know. Want to call you an event promoter. I don't know if that's the right word to use. Or event organizer. Or within your business, you guys, um, rather you host events. Jolly Arts host um artistry and painting events, right? How has that been going? How was the first one? Let's talk about the first one that you ever did and what you've learned from it. And then we're going to move into the one that's going to be happening on the 4th of September, which is the Sip and Tea. From that to what you have now, what are the challenges and what have you learned? Um, with my events, I've noticed that people like grooving more than mm. just relaxing. Um, that's one of my challenges because... Um, <laughs> I'd say I'm hosting an event mm. and someone else will be hosting the, ne the following day and instead of someone coming to mine, they'll just mm. prefer to go to the next one because now they'll be grooving and vibing exactly. with other people. And me now, I only, po I only host chilled um, events, you mm. know, so I don't think people understand, you know, yet. they don't, yes, they, they don't, don't understand, understand yeah. Yet. I think also with where we're living, obviously, within the Western, we don't have a lot of these events. So maybe I want to try it, but I don't think it's a, it's, it's a means for us to stop having these kind of events, which I was very excited when I saw something like the sip and tea, sip and yeah. paint rather, um, happening within our range, uh, area rather, within the Western, which gets me really excited. So I'm gonna come, I'm gonna take some tickets here so you guys can see how they look like these are the tickets so i know that there's something different that you're doing with the tickets this yes. time which i think that it puts like such a special touch on everything please let us know what is the different thing that you're doing with these tickets? um everyone that um buys a ticket gets their name on it mm -hmm. and then there's also something they're gonna get on the event on the that's event. why their name is on the ticket and on the ticket yes. okay so you guys Yes, yes, on it. And then we're going to talk more about the event actually, the sip and paint, right? So, is sip and paint, where did that idea come from? Um, I was watching a movie mm. and it was like an art movie. What the hell? I'm mm. not good with names. <laughs> <coughs> and then this lady was ho hosting a sip and paint, mm. and a lot of people came through. Mm. So, I'm like, let me just try it. Let me just see. Because I, I was, I got, I got inspired. I got mm. motivated. I'm like, let me just try it. Because no one has ever done it, mm. you know. So I'm like, okay, let me, let me see how let people are gonna react to it. to it. And then, and now people were confused to what was going on. Mm. So like now I had to explain mm. what we're gonna be doing. Um, what, how, what are you gonna benefit? What you're getting mm. out of it? Or what she taking home? Exactly. You know? And I feel like people now are, are. Some people are like, I'm gonna come because there's wine. There's wine. And it's not but, about the wine. <laughs> but then I, I think it's it's a it's a, you were, how you planned it was very smart. Having a sip and paint. At the end of the day, it's that you like wine, or you're very interested in painting, or just the vibe of the whole event. You're very interested in that because I do know within the entertainment, people can expect poetry. Yes. You know, things like that. Like, even the music as well. Guys, me, I'm excited. <laughs> I don't want to lie. So, how much is the ticket? A uh, ticket is 200. The ticket is 200 rand. And it comes with so yes. many things. There's a lot of things. Uh, you sponsored also, you're working with, or you partnered with, um, Get to Barbershop. Yes. Okay, so... So, it, when you buy a ticket, yes. you get a free haircut from the Get to Fabulous Barbershop. Barbershop, right? Yes. And then you get wine. And then you get a canvas, and then you did three canvases. Three canvases, and we already spoke off camera how expensive a canvas is. So you're gonna get a canvas. You're gonna go home with that canvas. Yeah. And I think the interesting part for me is the tutoring part that you're gonna be teaching everyone to paint. And what I like about painting is that it's very therapeutic, and a lot of people don't understand it. Even if you're not good at it, just. 
just do something, just hoi pay together. <laughs> <laughs> right, so please tell us where is it happening, when is it happening, and where can people get tickets? Um, the event is happening on the 4th, and we will be hosting it at Three Bridge Avenue. Kabamo, Kabamo. Mm. In the Western area. Yes. Exactly. So if they want tickets, do they call a number? What number um, do you call? They, you call Dolly Art. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think all the descriptions for, all the information rather for the event will be on the description down below, right? Yes. So we're done talking about that. And I want to, there's one canvas that I think caught our eye, all of us when we came in, which is uh, DJ Floyd's um, canvas. Can we take that and take it up yeah. and ask you more questions? So this is the, is it a canvas, is it a painting? Yeah, it's a canvas painting. It's a canvas painting. So how long did it take for you to do this, to paint this? It took me a week. A week? Yes. And what kind of paint did you use, if you don't mind me asking? Acrylic paint. Throughout the whole? Yes. Acrylic paint. Let me show you. Can you see that? This is acrylic paint, guys. This is what I used. So what's the diff what's the different paints that are there's acrylic and then there's what? There's water paint, okay. there's oil paint, um, there's fabric paint. Okay. You yes. also do fabric work as well, right? Yes, I do. Do you still do that? Because I haven't seen yes, a lot of those. Yes, I do. Actually, really? I do on t-shirts. So I, I also had um, a Looney Tunes limited edition Exactly. Really? Yes. yes. And those sold. Yo. I, so on, on, on each of the t-shirts that were ordered, you hand painted everything? Yes, I did. That's crazy. I did. You need to get, you need to do that special bag because I want a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so with fabric painting, right, with fabric painting, um, what techniques what, what's the different techniques between paper and fabric? Because I'm very interested in understanding that. Yep, people understand my ideas. But it's fine, it's ah. fine, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> now just give us just a little bit. Um, okay, with um, the technique with, fab with fabric, you mm. need to make sure that you coat it with white first before mm. you start painting. Oh, okay. And then you need to iron it, dry it for at least a day or two. Mm. Iron it. Steam iron. Oh, not, not hot iron. No, not, not hot iron. iron. Not no, no. Steam okay. iron mm -hmm. it for maybe like an hour. Mm. So they can... That's, that's the, the difference. Yes. With the, with it's, the it's, it's harder because mm. I need to now paper, you get paper. Paper is very easy. easy. You don't really even need to But cook. then I, I understand on the fabric face a lot of concentration there because you can't make a mistake. If you make a mistake... Exactly. Okay, I understand. I think before we end the um, interview or the chat that we're having with Dolly Art, I just want to ask... Throughout the pandemic that we've been going through in South Africa, in the whole world, how has that affected your creativity as an artist? Oh. Right? <laughs> people are now asking for free portraits, like, mm. the me, like exactly. why, why are you still drawing? Like, type of thing. So, get okay, so now, I'll advertise you and you get clients. Yeah, we get, we get a lot of that, like, right? It was very hard, it was mm. very challenging. And that's when I started just stealing someone's picture, drawing it and posting it. Exactly. It's just so that I don't lose my touch. Yeah, your touch. Yes. I like that. I really, really like that. That even though we were in such a distressed time, which is so are you still found ways to motivate yourself and keep going so that you don't stop and then when you come back, now you're something is not right. I know that you've drawn a lot of famous people yes. right in South Africa. Which one was the one that got a lot of reaction and you also were like oh okay this, this I, i'm actually good at this um okay i recently did one let me see if i can find it this card no is it this one i recently did this one this one Ooh, right. this is pretty i've never gotten a thousand likes on instagram I legit got a thousand likes for this one. Because it's so, so beautiful. Who is this guy again? He's an actor, right? Yes, he is. This is so beautiful. Did he see this? Yes, he did. And he, he did. shared it on his Instagram. He did. Ah! I'm geeking, guys. He even told me that when he likes he, it. When is he going to come and collect it? I don't know. I don't when know. he does, please tell me. I'll be here. <laughs> to help you with the handover, I'd like to see this guy. If you're watching this, I'd like to see you. Please. <laughs> 
I really, really like this. So how much is this if you this is had seven? This is 600. Okay, I love it. So are you going to give it to him? Yes, definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah he must not pay. <laughs> and he must take me out on a date. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm kidding. I know that you don't also show my jersey, which is here. And who else have you drawn? You drew, you drew a lady from Twitter, I think Twitter and Instagram. Is it Lim, 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 I forgot what it is. But it's the girl with the little tattoos. Yes, it's really And then you, you delivered it to her actually. Yes. How was that did. experience? Oh my god, it was amazing. And she's so sweet. Right. She's so sweet. It was the best moment of my life. Because that's also one of your very, very good canvases that you put together. I really, really like that. So guys, I think this is where we're going to end our conversation and the chat of I... Save me, save me for myself. I don't want any regrets. I need love and nothing else. Won't you take me? Take me from myself. I want you that can pretend. I want you.